This can do 200 kilometers in a single time. Not 200. 200. Wow. This is. 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 Oh, For us as a country, where I want to see us go in the next few years is to move public transport completely from a dependence on petrol and diesel to fully electric vehicles. That is really where Ghana ought to go. And it is doable. It's, it's very doable. It's not something that, you know, it's far-fetched, right? Orders are already being made by other countries. Orders are being made by other countries. As a matter of policy, we ought to move away from petrol and diesel to electric vehicles. As a matter of policy, the whole issue of climate change and you know that transition, that energy transition for Ghana and moving away from that dependence on fossil fuels to more, you know, green energy is is very very important for us. Uh, and this is one of the ways in which we can achieve that transition because, as you know, we we spend a lot on fossil fossil fuels. But the other thing that is very, very important for, for Ghanaians, uh, households, individuals, is the high cost of transportation. If you look at the cost of transport in Ghana, there are two elements that dominate that uh, pricing formula for transport. One is fuel, the other is spare parts. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? Yes. Those are the two elements that dominate the cost of transport. Fuel and spare parts. Now, with what you're doing with electric vehicles, generally, I mean, the fuel cost really becomes very minimal. Yeah. And then because of the nature of the, you know, the, 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 the engines for electric vehicles, they don't have high maintenance. It's very low maintenance, very, very low maintenance. Yeah. So with these two elements, you will reduce the cost of transport very significantly. And, you know, so in this era of this increased high cost of living, you know, you, 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 across the world, anyway, it's not, I was listening to a program about the UK yesterday where the major issue was the cost of living, uh, which had gone up you know, threefold uh, and, and all of that. We, so to, to deal with 
one of the aspects of the cost of living increase that Ghanaians are facing on a sustainable basis. We need to really, as a matter of policy, say that, look, let's move away from the dependence on, you know, fossil fuels, petrol, diesel, to electric vehicles. And make sure we can make it happen. Are the charging stations available? Let's make it happen. Don't say it's not possible. It is possible. It is. For example, you could really help the TVET institutions design a curriculum in terms of EV maintenance and so on. Because as we move and see more adoption of EVs, you'll need more people who can maintain. We, as a country, really have to believe that that it is possible to leapfrog many of the advanced countries in the area of technology. Um, and I think that in the area of electric vehicle uh, manufacturing, I think we have a bit of a comparative advantage uh, in, 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 in Africa and, and in Ghana compared to uh, you know, the more advanced countries. Um, but what really will make it happen is, is, is people who have the ideas, who have the de dedication, uh, like you, you know, who have thought through this whole value chain in this whole enterprise and you've been able to, to put something together. You know, from our point of view as a country, uh, we are very interested in your success very 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 interested we want to see you successful